Hello guys and welcome back to my Football Manager series. Um, in the last part we had a bit of an upset in the terms of Jamie White has been injured for, well, it was originally six to seven months which was rather painful um, but we sent him off for specialist treatment and he he's currently going to be out for between four to five weeks. Um, which is a major loss for us really um, but it hasn't affected the way we've been playing because Dan Fitchett has been scoring for us as well as um, as well as that guy surprisingly and also where is he? this guy yeah Mr Kevin Kranz setting score and setting up and scoring goals for us um, Wellard got an hat trick as well recently um, Jamie White has also set up the more goals as well as scored the most, so he's basically romping that. And at the same time, we had Samuels get injured. Um, but in terms of prospects, um, Ado and Dak seem to be looking quite promising. In the last video, I did say um, I'm going to skip anything that I see is unrelevant, and I will be doing so for this foreseeable future. Um, and we have here a contract renewal discussion. Um, wage budget 7.25 per week. Win promotion, transfer budget nil, play direct, play defensive. Sign for da -da -da, and we'll accept that. I don't really want anything else out of them. Um, and these are the contracts that are running out in. I'm going to have to offer him a new contract because we can't, can't afford to lose him. Uh, Lewis John, not bothered about. Dan Fitch yet. Um, he's not going off. He's currently unhappy at the club, so he can get. He can get gone. We don't want him. Ricky Wellard. The manager needs to stay, but his wages are sky eye and here we are we have our new contract offer manager six hundred pound a week part time yeah I'm happy with them terms especially since we have a a wage rise opportunity we get promoted we won the boss award for the month um can't write there it says and we've had a look at our profile recently Seems really improved, but I don't expect it to because we've not got our coaching license yet. Um, but I will be expecting to get it soon. Bilic, apparently in charge of Tottenham. Hmm. We are now at match day. Um, Samuels has just re signed his contract uh, 14 grand a year, um, which is a bad. Um, if we we are at home, is it, yeah, we're at home for this match. I'm just playing that 17 year old there again. In, but I don't want to play him, I want to play. Well, for one, I want to play Charlie Dak at the right back position. Dos Slaw instead of uh, that guy. Um, and who can we play instead of that guy? What about you? Um, no. Uh, Isaac Addo, ah right, yep, we'll just do that. Oh yeah, job done. Right, there we go. I'm not too bothered because um, for four games we'll win at least two of them to keep second place. I can't see us dropping past sixth place, so we're definitely going to have a chance at promotion. Do that and assertive. Are your favourites here? Show me what you can do. Um, Dan Fitchett's got the pace for this sort of lead to score past them, so he should be scoring. Same with Charlie Dacky, he's got the good enough pace to score. And Ricky Willard scores again for us. And there he is, again, Mr. Charlie Dack. Of all people. And literally can't tell you what he's on. I mean, look at that, he's done it again. Can he get a hat trick at 15 years old? Um, uh, 
Charlie Duck. Why don't it let me do individual team talks? I don't know. Where's the fashion earlier? Room fart, please reform. Let's keep it up. Oh, Mr. Charlie Duck is performing way beyond expectations at 15 year old. If he does get that trick, I'll be absolutely astonished. He's on 8.7 rating. That's good in my eyes. Defenders are slacking a bit, but well, they've got good ratings, so fair dues. At this rate, Charlie Dax going to end up smashing a 50 yarder in. Twenty minutes to go for him to get his last goal. Will he do it? It's not looking like it in all honesty. They've scored past us, that's great. Right. Right. Just add an email off YouTube. Uh, nothing that concerns us, really. A good win, boys. Well done. Especially you, Mr. Charlie Dack. Keep them top performances up and you'll be in the first team a week in and a week out. Let's have a look at um, his stats now. Charlie Duck, 5 games, 4 goals, 2 assists, 7.58. That is ridiculous for someone of his age, in all honesty. Recommends pushing that from Albert telling him in now please try with this right yeah I'm gonna do that, I'm happy with that. I bet you just wanna keep him pressing. Fucking keep it up and you will be doing. Coach Porch, see he's still only two and a half stars, but he's freaking much better than that. Apparently he's got a bad decision making. That is clearly not the case. We've got a game literally a day after that match. Um, so I'm probably going to have to rotate. Um, especially well about against Boreham Wood who are in 6. Mm, it's tricky. Last time I rotated as well we got hammered. Um, <laughs> Not like any reminding, but you know. And they do say a good manager should be out rotate his team. But apparently, I can't. Happy to stay at United. Yay, he's happy. Because he's been getting given games. I mean, I don't know why we're not giving him games anyway, because he's got good potential. Um, so we'll keep using him. And here we are, we're at our next match day. And we're. Ooh. 10 points behind Ebb's fleet. But I don't think they're going to lose the rest of their games. It'd be a big knock if they did. So this our 16 year old, it is as well. Um, I'm going to leave him in because I, I think he, he could. Good play for most fun around the south side. Standard fitness. Should we be throwing? Doesn't say whether. Um, He's gonna be any good for what league in the future, which normally they do. Look at that for a goal difference difference. That's freaking shocking. Third place, fourth, and second place, 24. The first, that is very strange in my eyes. Um, assertive. I'm not saying that. You know, I'll know what to do out there. And the answer to that is either win or drop your chances at scoring. See this guy, I'm kind of... He wants 200 quid a week and I don't know if he's worth it. What's he currently on? You know what, I'm going to keep him because he's a good potential. 
And with the way our strikers are getting injured, we might need him. When I did try renewing his contract um, earlier in the season, he wouldn't accept it, so I'm glad that he is accepting it now. Come on, don't let him score. I like clean sheets, boys. And then they get him, let him score. Junior Moraes, or whatever his name is. And he's going to score again if they don't stop him. He keeps terrorising them, finding them gaps. So, I'm actually going to... There it is, see, I told you. Closing down, always tackling hard. Show one, two, weaker foot. Well, hopefully that'll stop them terrorising us. And there we go, our 17 year old is scored. Again, Kevin Kranz is injured though, so let's replace him. We'll leave it that now, I forgot to do a team talk there. I'm hoping that doesn't affect them too much. Um, but again, he's got his hat trick. Let's have a look at him, he's 19. And shouldn't be scoring that much anyway. But it does look like we're going to lose this one, boys, um, unfortunately. Don't know if it's the keeper's fault or if it's the team's fault. Um, but our guy got an hat trick as well. Would you look at that? And the striker's just been injured. That should help us out quite a bit. Oh, and look at that. The guy scored four goals for us up front in one game. At the age of like 17, oh my god, so it sells out. Not like, no, seriously, what the hell's going on there? Get the freaking ball off him and keep it. Oh my god. Come on, you bunch of plant bots. Oh, that wrestle ref, blow it. Oh, thank god for that. Oh, it's not over yet, no. Like I said, this is what happens when we get rotation teams. It becomes scarily bad at the back. Oh, thank you, ref. So, save that. I'm going to set. That's what I'm going to say there. Right, not happy with that. But the keeper actually did quite well because he got an assist. That's rather funny. Um, but it looks like we found another consistent four. What were the stats there? So one had 30 odd shots. Being Borum Wood. So we definitely, definitely played fucking bad there. But this guy's got a finish in a nine. That's that all about. He's just played his first game of the season and got four freaking goals. Freaking strange that. Yeah, I think um, Reeve can be happy with his performance there, yeah, apparently. And that 17 year old just got um, a record for missing so many goals in a game. Right, it's match, num match day number three. It's match day number four, isn't it, actually? Oh, we've managed to squeeze a fourth one into this episode. That's not. Oh, look at that, we're only seven points behind Ebb's Fleet now. Does that mean there's a possibility for us to finish first? It does. Will it happen? Probably not. So, I'm not normally a negative person, but yeah, I am trying to be realistic. Um, I think this is actually another one that's freaking slipped under the radar. Um, when does he... For new contracts, hot prospect, 75 quid a week. Yeah, we can't get rid of him. That's another prospect for us. So, we're actually not even playing um, Fit Chip mainly because he's freaking injured. What is it? I'm getting injured. Ah, uh, do um, At least this guy's not injured there. Eh? Uh, we'll give him a break. But his lowest rating has been a 6.9. But that determination makes a big difference. But the title's still up for grabs. They have everything to play for. Who are Ebb's Fleet playing? 
they're playing Boromwood in sixth place. They could very damn well beat them. Let's hope that we don't lose this and throw away the title. Passionate. One lads with the favourites. Show me what you can do. Um, well, Charlie Dax has been caught offside. I suppose that's a sign that he's attacking. Right, they're assertive. And that didn't really work the way I wanted it to, unfortunately. Our strikers aren't our main strikers, they're two very young ones, um, so this might end up very damn well being a draw. Or even a loss. Um, but I'm hoping not. Oh no, he's giving away a penalty. What have you done, you plonker? Um, it looks like we've just thrown away the title, boys. Um, Sean Cooper's not playing well either. They're going to score another one in a minute, and there it is. A freaking on goal from that dorp. So, yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to get the league title in this. But we, we, we should be getting promoted. And I think you'll see yeah, the Ebfleet win. There it is. Um, fans devastated by Basing Stoke results. So am I. So am I. But unfortunately, all our players are injured. I am going to leave it there. Um, because we've only got two more games left in the league. Um, but. After that, we will have to play through playoffs, which will all be done in the next part. So, keep watching. JC out.